Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Eve the Empress Oracle. Today we're going to go ahead and do an angel pick a card reading. Okay, this is going to be a message from all the higher beings, angels, spirit guides, passed on loved ones, ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels, what have you. Okay, um, we have pal one, two, and three. You pick whichever pal you are most drawn to. The timestamp will be in the description box below. As always, I ask that you please take the parts of the messages that resonate with you and leave the parts that don't. This is a general reading. Okay, if you would like a personal reading pertaining specifically to you, your situation, and answer any questions that you may have, you can contact me to schedule that. My email is also in the description box below. Okay, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram to connect with me there. I do appreciate all the likes, comments, all, I appreciate all my subscribers. That stuff really does help my channel. So thank you guys for doing that. And for those of you that are watching, if this message does resonate with you, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, let me know how it's playing out in your life. Share my channel and my content with family and friends because there may be messages here for them as well. And if you have not already done so, consider subscribing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. All right, for those of you who chose PAL 1, okay, we're gonna start with the messages from heaven first. This is a message from any higher beings for you. You have focus on the positives. You know there are many, and you have the number 29, which simplifies to 11, which simplifies to two. All right, so focus on the positives. You know there are many. Some of you guys may be a little indecisive at this time or having to choose between two things. And because you're kind of unsure of which choice to make, you're focusing on the negative instead of the positive. All right, so they wanna redirect your focus on the positives. All right, focus on the positives. Okay, but the book reads, there is so much going on right now in your life, but sometimes you don't see the whole picture. Open your eyes to what you do have and see all the ways in which life is going well for you. By focusing on the good things, you attract more of the same into your life. You are blessed in so many ways. Rejoice and remain optimistic. All right, so again, just focus on that positive. If you've watched me for a while, you know I always say what you focus on and what you think about constantly is what you attract more of. So if you want more luck, blessings, abundance, positivity, you want something to work out in your favor, then that's what you need to think. You need to think positive that it will happen. If you're focusing on the lack, you know, the things that aren't working out, the negativity, then that is also what you are going to attract. So pay attention to what you're focusing on because that is the energy that you are drawing in. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and use the Angel Tarot. Your first card is the Emperor, which is also St. Michael, the number four. Then you have Strength, Great Inner Strength. This is Archangel Ariel and the King of Fire. And then look what it says. Focus, focus, focus. Okay. So right off the bat here, if you guys are interested in the zodiac signs, you may be dealing with an Aries or you may be dealing with a Leo. It doesn't have to be, it can just be the message of the card, but for some of you guys, um, those zodiac signs are very important. If you do not have that in your chart, if you're concerned about someone or dealing with someone, um, these may be the people, Aries or a Leo. Okay, so your first card, the Emperor, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is the protector um, amongst the angels. He protects, he fights, he fights off the bad stuff. He encloses you, um, his color is blue. All right, but this is telling you the Emperor, organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. So this can be you coming into a leadership role. This can be you being more authoritative or this can be someone that you may have been um, having to deal with, a boss, a manager, supervisor, a father figure, um, someone above you 
who is in this emperor energy someone who is in charge all right and because they are in charge they they can be very stubborn okay they can be stubborn they want things done their way they're not really open to change um they like power and control and things like that so this can be you or this can be the person that you're dealing with okay then with the strength this is obviously telling you to stay strong this is the leo energy the lion energy the sun energy archangel ariel all right it says great inner strength release release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion strength this is telling you that if this is someone that you are dealing with just remain in your power both aries and leo they are both fire signs and they are both authoritative authoritative and um they both like power and control okay they are in their power the emperor he is the highest of that type of dynamic okay he's like the king the emperor in that structure then the lion is represented by the sun the lion is known as the king of the jungle so there are two very strong um stubborn energies here there's very two strong um energies here that you and this person may be clashing or this is you and that's why you may need to focus on the positive okay but this can be you stepping into your power maybe you were feeling like you didn't have power you didn't have control of the situation so this is you leveling up this is you taking your power back this is you being strong um being uh courageous fearless you know stepping into a leadership role taking the reins again so you can move forward okay this is telling you to release any harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion maybe um dealing with this emperor person you need to forgive them with something you need to let something go maybe you need to let your ego and your pride down a little bit even you know despite however they're acting maybe so that you can come off as more gentle so that this person can hear you out because you both have your guards up and then the egos and the pride is clashing and no one is listening to eat to anyone okay then you have the king of fire motivational idealistic ambition charis charismatic like i said these both are kings fire kings the emperor and leo okay the strength these are both fire kings the highest that they can go but this is telling you to focus 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 communicate with vision and be a leader advice from someone creative this person may be coming in to give you advice but you may be in your own set ways that you're not like i said you're not open to receiving that help that guidance or really listening to what this person is saying maybe because the way that they're coming across so you want to make sure that you are not being in the stubborn dominating energy you want to be open to receive ideas even if it is coming from another person another authoritative person all right even if it, the information may not be coming across in the most loving kind you know motivating kind of way you know still take the inform take the advice take the information you know and tweak it to benefit you all right the the king of fire this is the king of wands this is someone who is very passionate creative okay doesn't like to just sit still needs to go needs to move very active okay and this can be you stepping up into this leadership position this can be you starting that new business this can be you you know um obtaining that promotion or landing that job or starting that new project this is you finding your passion your creativity and you're ready to go go in at full force okay but make sure that you're not focusing on the negatives the negatives you know that you may be dealing with another strong head a uh, strong person another very strong individual okay and it, it's not a bad thing okay if you guys can come and work together then you guys can be the dynamic duo you guys can really accomplish things because you guys are both leaders you you guys are are in your power okay then this is the um daily guidance from the angel so advice for you right now you have wedding 
Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. All right, if this is not um, a business thing for you, then this can be a partnership. This can be a relationship. This can be your significant other, the person you're interested or what have you, uh, Aries and Leo, or the, or someone who real, who, um, or someone who has these characteristics. Okay. Um, but I'm getting that that's not for all of you. All of you guys are not getting married. All of you guys are not coming across the person that you know, you, you think you can marry potential partner, things like that. So this can be a, just the idea of a union, a partnership. Like I said, once you and this person can come together, whether it's business or romantic, okay. You, once you guys can come together and drop the, the shield, you know, put the pride and the ego aside, you guys can accomplish anything so if it is a relationship you know if it is a romantic relationship then you and this person can you know have a very passionate fiery romance but and if this is a business thing then you guys will you know accomplish anything overcome any obstacles you guys have ideas for days you guys are creative and once you're passionate about something and you really put your heart in it you guys do not neither one of you guys will accept failure failure is not an option so it, it's about coming together a union okay you both may be similar you both both are strong sometimes you guys are stubborn and that's not necessarily a bad thing so it's not a dig it's just saying that to focus that to pay attention to how you can come off to people and really pay attention to that so that you can see how that person may be receiving you and maybe you need to adjust it a little bit come off a little more softer okay so that things can work out in your favor Okay, then the angel therapy message, you have third eye chakra. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. Okay, so this is telling you that you guys may be having heightened sense of vision, heightened sense of intuition. Um, you guys may be seeing things that other people are not seeing. And it's telling you to really use that intuition in order to you know make this person out to see that this person is not coming with ill intention because i'm not seeing any negative cards here all right it's just you guys are both in your power and you know you you guys are not the softest bunch okay then the archangel message you have life review archangel jeremy Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Yes. Okay. What's unbalanced here? There's two people here going for power. There's two people that want to be in charge or be in control. There's two people that's not really being open and receptive because they want to take the lead. They want to take charge. They want to talk, but they're not listening. All right, so you need to get this relationship between you and this person, whether romantic or business, you need to get this relationship in balance. What's Once it's in balance, equal give and take, once you're open to hearing this person just as much you want this person to hear you, then things will come into balance, okay? Um, you can't always be the dictator. That's the message that's coming through here. All right. So get that into balance and then and focus on the positives, because like they said, there are many. OK, you can stand in your strength. Um, but people who are really strong and in power and stuff, they don't need to always have it on display all the time. People will get a sense and they will know you know, not to mess with you, not to judge your authority, not to 
um, cross you and things like that. But y you don't always need to be on all the time. You don't always need to have that switch on all the time. Sometimes it's okay to let your guard down and let people see the gentler, softer, compassionate, understanding, loving side of you. Not always, you know, this person in power and control and dominating and you don't have to be that all the time. Okay, so just get that in balance and everything will work out for you, whether relationship or business, okay? This partnership will can thrive, but it's up to you if you're going to help balance this out because right now, it's not. Right now, you're at a clash, all right? So I hope this was a message that you guys needed to hear. Until next time, many blessings. For those of you who chose PAL2, this is your message. Okay, we're going to start with the messages from heavens. All right, and it is seek professional help. If you need to, all will be well. And you have the number 18, which is simplified to a nine. So some of you guys may be coming to a completion. Something may have ended in the recent past or the present. Something may have ended. Something may be finishing up or you're seeing the end of something. Okay, um, and some of you guys may even be dealing with a little bit of depression or anxiety is what I'm getting. All right, but the card reads, seek professional help if you need to. All will be well. If you are unsure in your current situation, why not seek extra information or get an expert to give you their opinion? No one knows the answers to every question, not even you. Your loved ones want you to know, will support you by helping to bring the right person to assist you. Explore various options before you decide. Okay, so it's telling you it's okay to get a second opinion. It's okay to bounce some ideas off of someone if you're unsure or to get some advice or um, some ideas on how to move forward. You know, make your pros and cons list. It's okay to be a little unsure, but don't get caught up in that, okay? Now with the Angel Tarot, we have ace of fire this is a new beginning like i said something may be ending so something new can begin ten of water this is the ten of cups so you will be ultimately emotionally fulfilled as i said don't focus on the negatives and what's going on in front of you don't focus on that indecisiveness just focus and know and have faith that in the end all will be well that's this emotional fulfillment so you may be Something may be ending or you may be coming through some challenges, some obstacles, some roadblocks, some pushback in a, in a situation and you're getting a little discouraged. But don't worry about that. Just see it through, okay? Because you have a new beginning here and you will be emotionally fulfilled. Things will work out in your favor and it will happen quick because we have the eight of fire, which is the eight of wands in the, tra in the traditional tarot, which is fast movement so even though things may have been slow may have been stagnant you're unsure you know so you weren't making the moves you were supposed to make or making the choices you were unsure about something once you do things are going to be starting to pick up very quickly once you make that that choice or once you speak to someone about your current situation once you try to see things from a different perspective things are going to start picking up quickly and the ace of fire is a new fiery passionate creative beginning okay it says an exciting new opportunity a career advancement change your life now so whatever this is this is changing it's bringing a new opportunity for you a new beginning a new start something new because something had it was ending or coming to its end all right and then the ten of water a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships so if you were doubting something questioning a, a partner or a friend or their motives or whatever the case is everything is good you know they have good intentions you will be emotionally fulfilled whatever this new beginning is whatever this opportunity is this new beginning it's going to bring you happiness joy 
okay whether emotionally or materially then the eight of fire events moving at a fast pace all the delays are over many things happening at once all right things are picking up the pace things are moving fast and once that happens that may bring you to this energy where you're kind of like okay well what should i do first or oh so much stuff is happening i don't even know where to begin i don't know where to start okay and that's where you may need to reach out to somebody as well to get some help to see some guidance some balance some ideas okay but things are going to be picking up quick for you this is a very good reading because it's a new beginning here all right and then emotional and material fulfillment all right and then for you when i was shuffling you did get two um daily guidance angel oracle cards so your first one is joy okay joy is the highest energy of all it's the magical sense that everything is possible joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible levels all right so that's that joy the ten of the ten of water here that's that emotional fulfillment coming in so you are going to be happy about something okay then you have innocence beloved one everyone is guiltless in truth but as no one can alter god's handiwork of perfection give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load give us any guilt anger or blame that may shroud your loving outlook enjoy the peace within your heart once more okay so like they said if you're feeling overwhelmed if you're feeling burdened you're feeling a heavy load you know pray ask for help seek help seek some assistance seek some guidance okay because you have support all right that's the part of that message that's really popping out to me is to give your feelings of heaviness so that they can lighten your load okay and then release any negative thoughts that you have any worry any clouded judgments any of that stuff that's that's clouding you know you the ability to be able to love to embrace to see this because they want you to enjoy peace within your heart once more that's why you're getting this new opportunity this new proposal this fresh beginning so that you can achieve that emotional fulfill that emotional fulfillment okay now the next card you have is the angel therapy have your have you asked your angels for help with this okay again that burden what you're worried about okay seek professional help or is has something been going on and have you been trying to keep it to yourself or have you been trying to reach out to someone for help for guidance all right it says your angels want to help you with this situation however they require your permission before they can intervene in your free will choices all right so if you're feeling unsure about something you're feeling a burden you're feeling heaviness ask for help ask for assistance that is the repeating theme of this reading okay they they cannot come in and assist you and help you unless you ask them to unless you allow them to that is how free will works i always use the analogy of basketball um you know there's a certain amount of players on a team but they do not all play at once okay there's a certain amount of players that go in play the first part and then there's the players that are sitting on the bench watching cheering them on shouting from the sidelines but those players that are on the bench are not touching the ball they're not actually out there doing anything be, uh, until it's their time to get tagged in until it's their time to get switched to be able to go on the court and play so until you tag your angels in you know metaphorically until you give that permission for them to come on your court and play beside you they ultimately cannot do anything they can give you signs synchronicities drop hints you know confirmations which you may think are coincidences or you know signs symbols all this other stuff but it's up to you to actually do something they cannot actually do anything on your behalf until you give them permission 
okay? Then from the Archangel, Oracle, you have remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Okay, so remember who you are. Reflect back. When was the time that you felt in a rut? When was the time that you felt overwhelmed or how, or that you wouldn't be able to overcome a situation or get out of a situation or that you didn't see a solution, but then out of nowhere, the situation got solved, the situation got fixed. There was an opportunity for you to come out on the other side and you did make it to the other side. And now that's just, you know, a memory of the past. All right. Remember who you are. Remember your power. Whatever comes against you, you can overcome. Okay. And you, you may need to ask for help. You don't need to bear this heavy load alone. Okay. So just stay focused on that because you have a beautiful new beginning coming in for you. And it is going to bring that emotional fulfillment. All right, so I hope this was a message you guys needed to hear, group number two. And until next time, many blessings. For those of you who chose group three, this is your message. Okay, we're gonna start with the messages from heaven. Oracle card, you have give yourself time. Be kind to yourself and heal in your own way. The number 37, which simplifies to a 10. Okay, so you may need to heal because something has ended, something has completed, some type of cycle is, you know, coming to an end. Okay, which is like re represented by the clock, the circle, something, you know, it's a cycle. All right, and once one cycle ends, a new one begins. Okay, and you may need to heal from something. You may need to heal from something and everyone heals in their own way. Everyone deals with thing, things in their own way. All right, but the book reads, sometimes it can take a long time to heal from within. Life may never again be quite the same as it once was. In time, you'll find a new normal. Be brave and carry on living. Life is so precious and many people love you and care about you. Your loved ones remind you also. We love you. We are still here for you in so many ways. All right. So like I said, something may have ended and you're unsure, you know, how to move forward or what are things going to look like now that that chapter of your life is completed or that something happened, you know, how are you going to recover from it? It's different. It's going to take time for you to be able to see that new normal, just like in the world today, you know, with COVID and stuff. Um, what is the world's new normal looking like? You know, it took a while to get adjusted with wearing the face mask and having to social distance and stuff. But after almost a year of this stuff going on, okay, we had to find a new normal. Okay, in the beginning, yeah, everyone's world was rocked and it was, everybody was, you know, confused and unsure. A lot of people were in fear, all right? But then, you know, calm started to happen. Started, people started getting used to the routine and how things were going and that was the new normal, okay? And th that's just an example because you're going through something that may seem overwhelming, you know, that ha is completely changing your life but it's 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 your chance to find your new normal what is that looking like okay heal yourself take time all right um then we have the angel tarot here your first card is ego okay renewal and the magician okay so something is ending and a new beginning will be coming all right so the first card you have is ego archangel Jaffio. a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things negative or fear-based thoughts 
okay this is you having to make sure that you are not focused on that that is kind of what you are you're feeling trapped you're feeling you know you're um focused on a sense of lack you're you're living in fear you need to be kind to yourself okay you need to focus on the good things now that something has ended this is a chance for you to renew yourself to better yourself okay to learn from whatever that was to be better for the future all right just because something is done it doesn't mean you are done or your life is done you just need to learn from that situation so that you can be a better person because you are the one that ultimately benefits from that so whether this is a relationship or this is just some random situation in your life by you bettering yourself for example if this is you and you're in a partnership all right and you need to work on something on yourself if, if it's a relationship yes the other person may benefit because you know maybe it was communication for example you know maybe you needed to learn how to communicate better maybe you needed to learn how to be a little more loving or compassionate or you know whatever the case is so yes that person will benefit from it as well because then their needs may be met or they may be able to understand you more so on and so forth but ultimately you are the the one who is benefiting because you are bettering yourself this is something that stays with you for a lifetime if you can learn to be more uh, to communicate better that works through all areas of your life not just with this person okay because if not then okay our, your relationship will go downhill but then you may have the same issue with with uh, the next partner you know if, if you guys split up or whatever the case is so ultimately by you bettering yourself you are the one that's benefiting the most all right so this is giving you an, opp an opportunity to renew yourself to better yourself to enhance yourself to learn from your mistakes learn from that situation learn from the relationship okay be open to change be open to changing within okay this is telling you to review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts time to move in a new direction you can't keep going back you can't keep doing the same things and expect a different result this is time for you to really take inventory on your life is your relationship where you want it to be if not what necessary changes do you need to do in order to get it on track to get what you want if you are single and you are not finding you know a, a suitable partner what is it that you can do to attract the right type of person if you're attracting certain type of people then there may be something that you're doing that is attracting that type of person you need to see what can you work on to attract the right type of people if it's a situation okay how did you play your part in that situation what can you do to move forward what can you do to either turn the situation around in your favor or to learn from that situation and move forward so that it doesn't repeat okay this is a time this is an opportunity for you to change an opportunity for you to transform for the better okay then you have the magician this is telling you that you have all the tools that you need if whatever you want the outcome to be you can make it happen but you have to work on yourself first okay you have to embrace that magician um characteristics that magician energy you have to embrace it but you cannot embrace it until you are at your highest potential you are at your highest vibration you are at your highest manifesting ability and that is by working on you being the best version of you that you can be all right and the card says you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest them life is magical so take this opportunity to change to drop the ego let go of the fears let go of the negative habits and traits and characteristics that you may embody that you may have shed those things shed it 
so that you can make room for better things that will benefit you moving forward okay then um, the advice from the angels you have reward yourself you've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way this balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your inner to keeping your energy mood and motivation at a consistently high level okay don't overdo something all right, whatever this is, I'm getting that is connected to here. Like you said, you've been, um, maybe you've been a little hard on yourself. You know, it says, give yourself time, be kind to yourself and heal in your own way. And I feel that's connected with you being able to change, you trying to transform, you trying to be the best person that you are. And remember that that does not happen overnight. All right, so you know if some of you are suffering from an addiction or a real bad habit know that it's a process to break that habit know that it's a process and it takes time to overcome that all right it doesn't just happen overnight and then i'm getting that you also need to be mindful of who and what you are surrounding yourself with okay um if you are surrounding yourself with someone or things that you know pressure you or encourage you or you know make it easy for you to slip into those old behaviors and patterns then you need to get yourself out of that situation you need to surround yourself with people and things that are on the level that you're trying to get to so that those people can motivate you and help you stay on the right track okay for example if you're wanting to be more of a family person or um you know give your partner more time and things like that then you may not want to surround yourself with a whole bunch of single friends you know you may want to surround yourself with more family oriented people maybe couples maybe married people family members whatever whatever it is so that because if you surround yourself with single people then it may be you know them trying to encourage you to spend time with them or for you to do things where it may take you away from your partner or your potential partner and things like that that's just an example all right so you want to surround yourself with the right things for example if you are a smoker and you want to drop the habit of smoking you may not want to be with your best friend or your cousin all the time who sm who chain smokes who always has a cigarette or whatever in in their hand every five minutes because then that that what is that going to do that's going to make it easy for you guys to you know smoke together or you smell it and it may trigger you to want to, to smoke you want to get your people away maybe other people who are trying to ditch the habit of smoking so that you guys can encourage each other or someone who has already quit smoking so that they can encourage you and be there for you and let you know you know it may not be such an easy thing but it is possible or those that don't smoke period you know you want to surround yourself with what it is that you want the environment that you want that's going to support you okay you can't stay in the same energy all right just realize that things are going to take time and then once you accomplish that goal you can enjoy it you can embrace it you can be happy to enjoy the rewards that are coming from it then the angel therapy you have listened to your intuitive feelings your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine all right really pay attention to what your body's telling you do you need to do something are you happy where you are currently at if you're feeling emotions of sadness depression fear lack emptiness things like that pay attention to that and then really focus on what will give you the opposite emotion what would turn that fear into courage what will turn that emptiness into fulfillment what will turn that sadness and depression into happiness and joy you know find the missing piece and make it happen 
Then with the Archangel Oracle, you have patience. Archangel Japhael, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Again, we have this the same message that I kept repeating about being patient, work with yourself, understanding that things take time. Okay, work with yourself. Know that it is a process. These things don't happen overnight. All right. So I hope this was the message that you needed to hear. Things are working out. It's a journey though, an inner journey. You need to work on yourself and then you will manifest the things that you want. All right. So until next time, many blessings.